Well, hi there again, folks. Now, you may or may not have seen my last phone board creation, which was the RM1 supersonic fighter, which unfortunately disappeared off into the sunset with all my hopes and dreams. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, check it out. You might learn something. I've still got a bit of phone board kicking around and bored to hell with this COVID lockdown stuff. So I'm going to have another go at making the flight test F-22, but with some modifications. Now, the original design has a fuselage. But what I'm hoping to do is cut some weight by making it a flat board fuselage. I'll still put the flat board underneath, which gives it some stability and strength and will protect the receiver. As I said, I had did build one before, didn't have much luck with it. Very quick and a bit flighty for me. I'm hoping less weight will make it a bit more of a slow flyer that I can actually handle. So let's get on and start building. Right, the first step, of course, is to download the plans for the F-22 from the flight test website, tiled plans, so you have to stick them all together. And then also download the nose from the Vulcan and combine the two so that I've got a plan for the wing with a different flat board nose. The best of it is it all fits onto a single sheet of foam board so I don't have to cut as I did with the Vulcan. Now the next step was to figure what the side profile of the flat board nose should look like. So again I've used the Vulcan as a bit of a guide but widened it a bit. After that some chopping and cutting and I've got all the bits that I need for the F-22 wing cut out in foam board. Right well I'm making progress. I've made a little cut out for where the motor's going to fit. Had to kind of guess it really a bit and I've put a support in there plus I've put my bit of nose on here and I've actually got it true. How about that? Getting there slowly. I think the secret is slowly, slowly and think about it. Don't rush in and do something and then realise you could have done it better. Now with the cutout of this plan, the elevons were actually separate. And so I've actually made some hinges with a bit of old 35mm film as I didn't have any mylar. Right, well a few days on from that last video. As you can see, I made a fair bit of progress. In fact, it's ready for a maiden. So let's take a look at it. What have I actually done? Now this section here is pretty much exactly as it would be on the flight test build videos. I've endeavoured to keep the weight as far forward as possible. So servos are here. I did make one slight boo-boo here. I mentioned in that first bit I'd made a cutout here for the motor. Well I'm using quite a small motor here that I used on that flyaway RM1. It's a BR2304, 1850 kV. And because it's quite shallow in depth, mounted in there, the prop would be hitting this. I didn't really want to make a bigger cutout, so all I've done is just extended that a little bit with a bit of foam, which is the joy of foam board. One other small point here, the prop I'm using on here, 8 by 4 wasn't ideal to fit onto this type of mount on the motor, which has got a prop saver on it. So I've got some slow fire ones on the way, which I think would be more suitable. And with a bit of luck, if I, when it does come to a maiden, I'll be using one of those. But basically the, the boss on this was too wide to get the prop saver band on. So I had to grind a bit off. Anyway, as far as the nose goes, I think it looks cool. I think the whole thing actually works well. And obviously I've saved quite a bit of weight by taking off that double skinned nose. One slight downside of losing that weight is the fact that to attain the COG, which should be about here, even with the battery as far forward as I can get it here, I've actually had to add a tiny little bit of lead there just to get the nose down. But all in all, it's not much lead and I must have saved quite a bit of weight. It's come out about 300 grams, I think, which is still heavier than I would have liked. One thing about the flight test version is they suggest just putting this on with tape. Well I don't much like that so I've actually glued it with hot glue. Did make it a bit trickier to get my speed controller in which is a 20 amp which should be more than enough and tuck the receiver in there but not exactly tragically dif difficult. So all I need now is a day when it's not minus whatever degrees and blowing force eight or nine down the road and I, hopefully I'll get out and try and maiden this but I'm pleased with the way it looks I think the nose has worked out well 
whether it's going to be nice and slow and easy to fly because as you saw at the beginning I actually wrecked the first one of these that I built but this should be a bit slower and a bit easier to fly anyway that's it hopefully the next bit of video you'll see will be the maiden oh don't forget to hit subscribe down there somewhere and check out some of the other vids on my channel particularly when I lost the RM1 so that's all for now stay safe and I'll catch you all again soon bye for now